Well, we have a special guest today that knows all about the Earth, the Moon and the stars. Shall we go find her? Mm, let's do it. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> around and around and around goes the Earth. Hi, I'm Kirsten Banks. I'm a proud Wiradjuri woman and an astronomer, which means I studied the Moon and the stars. Hi, Kirsten. Kirsten, hello. Hi, Abby. Hi, Kang. Look, I'm spinning the Earth around. And look, here's us in Australia. Yeah. <laughs> G'day from Australia, world. <laughs> and around Australia goes until it's done one full rotation. Do you mean it takes one daytime and one nighttime for the world to spin around like that? That's right. And that's why we have day and night. Wow. And now let's say that this torch is the sun. Oh. So now this side of the Earth is light and the other side is dark. I'll make it darker. I'll turn down the lights. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so while this side of the Earth is in light and daylight, look, it's daytime for us in Australia. Oh. Well, should I hold the moon over here? Uh, oh, look. The sun is lighting up the moon. That's right, the sun always shines on the moon. But look, if we move around, we can see it change shape. Half moon, new moon. Oh, oh I'll spin the earth. Mm -hmm. There. And see Australia going away from the sun and into the darkness. Oh, oh I, I can see it from here. Australia's moving out of the light and into the darkness. And as we go into the darkness, it's time to go to sleep. <sighs> and while we're asleep in the darkness, it's daytime for people on this side of the Earth. Oh, pink dolphins. <gasps> and look, Australia's back into the daytime, so it's time to wake up. Oh, oh. oh. Did I miss anything? Oh, that was a big sleep. Oh, you just missed the Earth spinning around. Oh, <laughs> let's do it again. <laughs> As the world spins around and away from the sun Daytime is over, night has begun The stars are twinkling, the moon glows bright As we sleep and we dream all through the night So good night to the stars Good night to the stars And here comes the sun And here comes the sun on spinning, a new day's begun. <laughs> the sun, the earth, the moon and the stars. Wow, <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Time to turn up the lights. <laughs> ah. The stars are like the sun. They're always there, but they're really far away. So we can only see them at night time when it's dark. Mm. Do you sometimes look up at the shapes of the stars in the night sky? When stars make a shape in the sky, that's called a constellation. Yes, I love the one called the saucepan because it looks like the shape of a saucepan. <laughs> <laughs> My favourite comes from indigenous culture, known as the dark emu. Mm. It's made up using the dark parts between the stars. Mm. But you have to go out into the country to see it in the sparkling night sky. Ah. There are two friends looking for the dark emu in the story today. Oh. Now the campsite is set. Now let's look for the dark emu. Can I help look for the dark emu? Ah. Hi, Jemima. Hi, Kaya. Hi, oh, Kirsten. Hi. It's my favourite constellation. Oh, of course you can help. Uh, let's turn the lantern off. Oh, OK, lantern off. Ah. Oh, wow. 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 The stars are magnificent, yeah. like thousands of them. Millions even. And look, can you see the dark emu darting across the sky? Can you oh. see its big body and long neck? I can, I can. Me too, me too. The shape of the emu is made up using the dark parts of the sky. See this dark round blob right up the top? That's its head. And the neck and body are made of the dark parts that extend all the way down. Does that mean? Emus can fly? Many indigenous peoples believe they could once fly and that they're creator spirits. We look to the dark emu to tell us when to go looking for emu eggs. Oh, Kirsten, it's beautiful. And it's a very special constellation in Aboriginal culture. Oh, an emu flying through the stars. Oh, dark emu stars. <laughs> in a beautiful twinkling sky. <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little Star, how I wonder what you are up above the world so high, like a 
diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Twinkling stars in the desert sky. My favourite thing. <laughs> oh, oh, it's time for a hot chocolate. Oh, oh, yes. Ah. Mm. Mm. So Kaya and Jemima drank hot chocolate and gazed at the stars. Oh, wow, it's wow. beautiful. Ah. And after all the excitement, it was time to have a sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you and in the morning, they couldn't see any more stars, but they did see the most beautiful sunrise. And what's that? Oh, look, Jemima, a real emu. Oh, look at its pointy beak. Oh, my goodness. An <laughs> emu in the sky and a real one running by. And that's the end of the story. Oh, thank you so much, Kirsten, for coming along and seeing us and telling us all about the moon and the stars and the dark emu. Thanks for having me. I've had a great time. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. How good was that video? Subscribe for more Play School content and for full episodes, head on to ABC iView. Bye.